Good afternoon. Good evening, rather. I know it's evening over in England where this is streaming, but it's afternoon here in Wrightstown, New Jersey. My name is Erin Coherent, and I'm very happy to be a part of today's live stream um, for the Hope Orphanage in Sierra Leone. It's really touching to be involved in this, and I think that hope is one of the hardest emotions to continue to generate, but one of the most important emotions that we feel. So thank you again for having me, Eagle. I'm gonna do a mix of song and spoken word today. Sleeping in pools of spider webs, the silk wreaks havoc inside my head. Out of corners emerge the folks I never see, telling me how to live my life for them in their way. They accept me for living life on their terms, but I know where these roads go when you sidestep what you want to do so they can remain in control, not getting closer, only getting more in control, leaving the places that I've left behind again, but this time for good, then again, again. The real world is unforgiving with time. We cling and age with whatever stays, but I don't wanna play with you shadow friends. I'll never fit in enough for them. When I wake, I'm reminded of just how bad it's been. Time to keep pursuing treatment. Keep the hope alive, dust the cobwebs off, and keep humility antiquated in these veins. Time to leave before the pain changes. Time to fly before the ground gives way. No use sinking the Titanic. And the time to explore the depths is just a side effort. A medial hobby used to extrapolate truth from pain. Little thorns of life I used to live remind me of change. And the scars they leave remind me of ways I used to scream quiet and how those change too. The lesson learned is to love just you. Stop trying to fit into a life you wouldn't paint for yourself. Stop imagining the pain of loss and lack of acceptance. Start realizing the goal. There will always be shadows present. It is the light that makes them. But you must remove the hooks that anchor you to them. You must learn to be stronger than the judgment and push unapologetically forward on your journey. Sometimes dreams wake into nightmares that I will fight my way out of them. I have to. I can't do this for you anymore. I have to do it for me. I don't care if it helps other people. I just want it to help me feel better, stronger, more capable and in control. When we wake from pools of spider webs, we shake off the past, ignore what might have been, and go create what is to be. Because I can't allow myself more time to feel sorry for myself. And I absolutely can't lower my standards. Big things coming. Time to work. I didn't write this song, but it's been on my mind a lot.
Song by Stevie Nicks, if you've never heard it before. As we sit to eat, she leans to draw me, always drawing. There is somewhere far away in her eyes. I see it all the time. How little I know of her, but how much I've learned. She's particularly happy today. She draws free of me. She laughs a lot. She offers up info on her medication. She really smiles. My French toast queen. The waitress even brings extra strawberries. She must know we're having a good day. And we are, because she caught up to me, you know? And our plates are piled high with whipped cream, strawberries, syrup, butter, and a $5 tip each. Oh yeah, and some toast.
The pond across the street has reeds taller than me, yellow broccoli too. Along the fence line, I found daffodils, pale yellow petals with a dark yellow cup. Among the meadow of henbit to the front yard, pastel cherry blossoms akin to a Spanish dancer's skirt, brilliantly scooping on flimsy branches down to my shears. The fat robins warn of cutting up any further. That's just as well. We never take more than we can use. To the woods out back for unrolling ferns, encased in a fibrous stalk. They grow so tall. Lastly, stern greens for a burst of dark drama. A speared shadow, bulbous and peppery. Textured is the word. It dances and grows like the wind. We breathe alike. And it would please me very much if I were a flower to travel far to a vase and dance with other exotic elements whom I might otherwise not have the pleasure to acquaint. Yes, I would like it very much indeed to glow at my most vibrant as part of a once in a lifetime wave of consciousness that helps us grow and is never seen again, like the rest of the best of them. Oh, I was set here to make good use of it all. Lucky me.
serpent in a trench coat bit me last night. It struck me in the center of my chest. I was trying to shake the hand inside the jacket. I thought it was you. I was calling a truce. Fool me twice, they say. Where do the crows go, jumping off from their roost, casting long-winded shadows into the afternoon? Or how do the trees sound? Do they sigh like the wind? Into whose arms do they wrap when they need a friend? Will the river still sing when my days all run out? When there's nothing left of me, will the forest be proud? Can we exist in each other and also alone? Is the choice not inherent to call one another home? I want to know where the lightning goes when it streaks across the sky. 
I want to know where who I am meets what I left behind. You never get it back. Where you've been keeps what you've lost. There is no real conclusion. All your memories are thoughts. for tuning in. Thanks Punks for the Homeless for having me again. I have five minutes. I'm going to play one more song. Four minutes, so pressure's on. My name is Erin Coherent. You can follow me online if you like the music. You can search for it in other places, but I feel like today, if you're watching the stream, you should definitely just donate money to help out Corp, excuse me, Hope Orphanage in Sierra Leone. Um, this last one is called Medusa. Also, thank you to Bill Nome behind the camera. You can't see him, but I wave to him. He waved to me.
again, Punch for the Homeless. You caught us in the middle of a studio renovation, so next time we broadcast, you'll see the new and improved Dorial Robot. We're excited to be invited on, and thank you very much. Have a great day.